Some of Africa's greatest challenges have their solutions right at their fingertips. These solutions are found in communities, they're found in schools, they're found in neighborhoods, they're found in your local grocery store. What am I talking about? It's the everyday person. They have the capacity to change the trajectory of what we see happening on our continent. My name is Jewel Thompson, and I'm an assistant lecturer of entrepreneurship at Ashesi University. Hi, my name is Boatima. And my name is Esli. My name is Greta Shamsun. My Teresa Brown. Hi, my name is James Askes. It's Felix Povey. Hello, my name is Joyce Ous. I'm Manuel Deriwanye. My name is Kelvin Tatra, and I'm representing the YEA. Here at Ashesi University, we have a one-year first year course called Foundations of Design and Entrepreneurship. FD2 has been a very insightful journey for me because I learned a lot about teamwork and resilience. FD has been very insightful as well as I've learned to explore my creative side and I've also learned to work with people from all angles and I have really learned a lot concerning like creating projects and businesses and all of that. The FDE journey has been so experimental and I'll say that when I first started doing FDE it was a bit of stressful and trying to engage with my team members, trying to know them and at times even quarreling, not made, uh, like we have different values or maybe we are not clicking in some ways but at the end I found it like it was a a building experience and I've really learned how to communicate with my team members, how to build something. This is a mandatory course provided to all entering first year students at the university. This is a critical staple in their experience as budding and aspiring entrepreneurial critical thinkers. This aligns with our mission to produce the types of ethical leaders who have an entrepreneurial mindset that can transform this concept. My name is Imano Oderiwanye. I'm the Programs and Projects Coordinator for Foundation of Design and Entrepreneurship here at Ashesi. I happen to be part of the Pioneer class, class of 2015, that took FDE, and now I've transitioned from being a student who took FDE to becoming a Project and Programs Coordinator. There's one thing that is clear about FDE, it's all about giving students essential exposures of life, especially in design thinking and entrepreneurship. If I consider myself as a case study, after FDE, I got the tools to start a lot of um, extracurriculum activities in farming, in, in waste management, in so many things. And now I've moved on to work on a lot of projects with GIZ, with Mesha Palace Museum, and even here at Chelsea, working with MCF and Miguel to collaborate on a research project. So there are so many essential tools that Design Thinking hands on to students that you can really apply before and beyond FDU. I must say, um, entrepreneurship is taking a different turn in, in Africa where it used to be an alternative, but now it's becoming mainstream. Entrepreneurship is the way forward for Africa. If we want to develop, looking at our masses or our numbers, and the fact that there are few corporations or organizations to employ people after school, entrepreneurship is the way forward in developing our continent. Ashasi University is one of the best universities in Ghana and the introduction of entrepreneurship in their programs is really going to help the student progress. I see students between now and 10 years to come having their own jobs, creating new things, new products that we, can, we cannot even think of now. Over the course of the year, students are grouped together in teams to work strategically to address challenges that they see in their communities around them. They usually align this with one of the SDG goals or one of the AU goals. And in doing so, they start to investigate this particular challenge. Now, for the first semester, students dive deeply into this problem space. 
analyze the root cause using frameworks, getting to understand why the beneficiaries or the people who are impacted this problem are suffering from it, and who are the people that are actually contributing to this problem. How do we find a middle? So analyzing some of the gaps that exist in these perpetual systems enable them to think more deeply about the potential solutions that lie ahead of them. So it's not just about running to find a Band-Aid solution to cover up what is a burgeoning problem that comes to the top of our systems, but really getting to the root of it all and thinking through how might we stop this at its root before it grows even further. By the time they've come through that, they work together, problem solve, think through, ideate, using the design thinking methodology, all to help them arrive at this destination that allows them to say to themselves, I think we have a good idea. Now the second semester is taking that good idea and those thoughts and those processes, the interviews, things that they've synthesized, and now putting that into a complete business simulation where students use the second semester to now run their businesses in this simulation or simulated format where now they're putting business models to these ideas because we wanna ensure that these ideas are feasible, they're viable, and more importantly, they're ones that are desired and needed so that they can stay, sustain in the long term. Foundation of Design and Entrepreneurship, FD for short, is essential for students who come here to Chessy because one, design thinking actually becomes an essential tool that students can apply to various um, scenarios being here at Chessy or even outside of Chessy when they complete school because design thinking is now the ish, if we should put it that way, when you go to, um, from all the SDG goals to everyday life problems that we face, you can use design thinking to not only investigate into the problem, but also to come out with a very perfect problem solution fit scenario so that everybody gets satisfied. When you go to the entrepreneurship bit of it, even this program that we are having, Business Fair, allows students to hone skills in telling the stories of work that they have done. So we believe that this idea is very ideal and is feasible enough for us to continue with it. Hence, we are going to work with this but as a project. So we are going to be exploring the idea for now, but we are maintaining it. We are not retiring because we are proud of it and we know that it will solve the problem of farmers at large. Ashesi should keep doing this. Um, all the other institutions should also try as much as possible to have projects like this where people from the job market come back to the educational setting to give their suggestions and to give their experiences about what works and what doesn't work so that we can build Africa together. It's a very laudable and applausible idea and I think it's something that all the universities and tertiary institutions should look at. I say this because this will help bridge the gap between graduate unemployment. If people are in school and they are already working out ideas, they come out of school and they'll probably be having something to do and they wouldn't have to go out there hunting for jobs, which sometimes take them forever or even years to have a job. So Ashase is doing very well, is doing great. Um, I wouldn't be scared to say Ashesi is, is, is one of the best in Ghana so far. So what you're seeing here today is the culmination of all of the great ideas across the cohorts from this first year program. So, in light of that, you will find that these students are now presenting their final pieces. They're excited, they're curious, they're still in the position where they can make changes, they can iterate, pivot, but today culminates their business fair where now we get to see more and more possibilities for Africa. We see that here and we're starting the solutions right now and this is a critical component of our education uh, cornerstone at Ashesi University. Hopefully you get to enjoy all of that it has to offer. As faculty member of FDE, I'm thankful for my colleagues, the co-founders and the creators of this almost four years ago, to know that this was a type of program that needed to change and transform and challenge our university. So 
join in and watching and enjoying some of the presentations from some of our students. Thank you. Oh.